Good evening. Queensland's election campaign has taken a frightening turn with a major security breach for the opposition leader. anti Adani protest is hid in a function room for hours before hijacking a breakfast debate. Lauren Day reports. It was a surprise hijack no one saw coming. We're here to remind you that there are no jobs. Four anti-Adani protesters overtaking an election breakfast debate in Townsville. You don't dig a mine, that's what you don't do. They'd been hiding in a media box at the back of the room for hours in a worrying security breach for the opposition leader. All I can say is how rude. How rude can they be? The four were detained and moved on, but not arrested. Police say they'll now do a review of how the protesters got inside and to make sure it doesn't happen again for the rest of the campaign. Mr Nichols later laughed it off at a press conference inside the safety of a small hotel room. You know, it doesn't worry me. They, they, you know, I think the only thing about them was they were pretty hot and smelly. Those who paid to attend were pro-Adani. Could you please raise your hand if you support the Adani mine? protesters had dogged the first week of the Premier's campaign too. Well, there we go. There's an Adani protester there. But soon backed away after she said she'd veto a $1 billion loan to the Indian conglomerate. Today's stunt coming after it was revealed the Adani group is close to securing Chinese finance for its controversial mega mine. Look, I hadn't heard that, so I don't know any details about it all. But it could cost local jobs with some supplies and services to come from China. The Premier insists she had a deal with Adani. We did. We did in relation to the purchase of um, supplies here in Queensland and also no 457 visas. Without any reference to the Chinese, in a statement, Adani denied they were no longer seeking the NAIF loan and remained committed to regional Queenslanders. Lauren Day, 10 Eyewitness News.